All right, guys. So I'll give you a list of what I got going here. All right, so I got 600 feet of this stuff here, this polytubing. But I only plan on burying 400 feet. I'm gonna do 200 feet in the bottom layer, then 200 feet in the second layer, and then go inside. The other 200 feet, I got an idea. If this don't warm enough, what I'm gonna do is uh, set up a compost pile of some hay in that. And uh, I was gonna run some of that tubing, just the whole coil, uh, kind of separate it some, and uh, run it inside the middle of the compost pile. And you let that hay, as it starts decaying, um, heat up and just wrap it in a tarp and uh, let it heat up and heat that water up. Um, I've seen some compost piles get as much as 93 degrees on the inside. So that is a tremendous amount of heat. So if I can do that, I, literally that will cut my electric bill to next to nothing uh, for them heaters. And so that's why I'm gonna save a couple hundred feet and then a hundred foot of it just for, for repairs and that. Uh, because like I said, this stuff uh, Lowe's was getting rid of and uh so what they had that's all they had uh is what you get also uh i got some tape to tape up the end uh so i don't get dirt and that in it until i get it ran so because i'm gonna have them sticking up out of the ground zip ties for the the hoops to zip tie together this is the uh the unions for this uh for these from what i understand for this you push on and then you thread it to the pipe itself and it helps lock it down you get two of them in the pack and then I got these It's a barbed it slides on the end and you put a clamp on it and that goes to a slip thread PVC so that once I'm inside I can go to PVC pipe uh, It just screws right in and then I uh, go to PVC pipe on the inside And then this will be just coming out the ground, you know six eight inches of it maybe coming out of the ground and then pvc pipe from there out to the to the system and uh and then pump the water in i also got me some wire cutters to clip the uh, the zip ties here and so i grabbed uh i grabbed a couple of extra packs of the unions to make sure i have more than enough uh because being plastic i'm not sure how strong they're going to be and if i break one i, I don't want to have to run back to the store today i want to go ahead and get it done so what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna bust one of these open somewhat and i'm gonna take it over there and measure kind of what i'm gonna need to get it in because I, what i want to do is i want to pump it into the top layer first and then feed that down into the bottom layer and then from the bottom layer right back as a return so that way it gets the coolest at the bottom and hopefully the warmest at the bottom so you pump that cool water in that first layer the uh, shallower and then uh run it down to the second one and pick up that heat there then send it in and vice versa when it's cold you run it through that first one cool the water uh you know when it's hot cool that water down then run it to the second one cool it down even more and then pump it straight from that lower level right into the system so that's that's my plan and uh, so we're gonna I'm gonna measure off what it's gonna take to get from inside the greenhouse and down that slope to the ground and start my coils and then I mark it and then go from there I won't put a coil on that 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 end so uh, I'll set the camera up my um, ladies out in the yard here and I'll do my best to uh, set these up I'll set the camera up on the tripod so that uh, y'all can see how I call these things up
Alright, now that I got it marked, I know where my coils will start. All this is gonna be ran, so. You gotta watch your zip ties because you can uh, literally crush this pipe. You can put that zip tie so strong or uh, tight that it'll, it'll crush the pipe. So you gotta watch your zip ties. What I'm shooting for is roughly about 36 inch loop. I don't know if I'm getting closer, too big, too small. It's just not that critical that I'm that accurate. I imagine if you was running for a home and spending several thousand dollars, uh, that'd be different. But I'm not. That's why I didn't build a jig or nothing to do this with. One of the things I need to make a point of is that uh, this is not going to be pressurized in any way. Uh, the water that's going to be pumped through here is going to be pumped through with a... Um, a little tank pump of uh, roughly 396 gallons a minute, I mean an hour. And what it's about, it's not about pressure, it's about volume. It's about pushing enough water through there and slow enough where it can pick up heat or disperse heat, but fast enough so that it's just returning without no pressure at all. Now, I will test it to make sure I ain't got a leak because I don't need water 
leaking out of the system. So, and then once this is buried, then it's obvious you're not going back after it. So, but I also, I think I'm gonna take, I don't like the way that thing fitted real well. So I think I'm gonna take some, uh, some uh, duct tape and I'm gonna tape that, or some electrical tape, take the living crud out of it. As you can see, I had to do some reconfiguring once I got it in there. Pop some of the bands loose. But uh, it'll give me enough slack to go up there above the ground on that end over there for the second layer. And what I'll do is I got some uh, pins for the uh, for that fabric, ground fabric for greenhouses. I'll pin it to that side of that wall so that uh, it won't fall when I start filling it with dirt. And what I'll do is I'll start filling from this end with dirt, dump, and then drive over, dump, and then drive further and further back. That way I ain't driving on top of my hose. All right, guys as you can see got a pretty well good layer I'm gonna add one more layer on top of that bring that on back now so I can pack this so I'll run it all the way up dump and then come back and use the way the tractor to pack it and then I'll come back over it again use it tractor weight to pack it down and I'll be ready for the next layer and as you can see that now I got zero not a no reading at all I don't know what happened, but uh, either it came loose or something, it just quit working. <laughs> All right, guys, well, as you can see, we, uh, I got a pretty good feel on it. And uh, we're about halfway. Packed it down with the tractor. It was that, uh, you know, this thing was above my head. So we're about halfway. So I think this is going to do good for uh, the next layer, this one, over it, and uh, then fill in the rest of it. Hopefully tomorrow I can get it all done. Uh, it's got to be done tomorrow. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And so hopefully I can get enough time off of work to make it happen before it gets too late. <laughs> 